Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what did a secretly want to tell you spread for all of my Scorpios out there. So, let's get after it. Okay, here we go. <coughs> sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What did they secretly want to tell all of my Scorpios out there? What did they secretly want to tell all of my Scorpios out there? Cards that I need. Safe. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Mm. All right. So we're dealing with a situation here in which this person is very generous here with the Six of Pentacles. There's an equal give and take going here, going on here with this individual. Okay. Uh, it's very charitable. So that's how you recognize this individual. Very, a very charitable sort of individual here. Kind of person like voluntary, like a food bank or a homeless shelter. Something of that sort here. Uh, so Earth sign individual, quite possibly with the Knight of Pentacles energy here. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy here. This is a person that is, is kind of taking her time, moving very methodically, very slowly towards the objective here. The objective would be to have a long-lasting, meaningful relationship with you. And Knight of Pentacles are all about kind of taking her time, slowly progression, progressing towards a favorable outcome here. Now, at the moment, we have a two of swords situation where we're kind of like at a crossroads. That's like a fork in the road, if you will. Okay? And so... That's pretty much where they are at this moment in time. They're kind of at a crossroads here. Um, and they're, they, they, like I said, they put some things out there. And at this moment in time, so you'll recognize this person because this person is, they're kind of, you notice they're kind of moving slow in the periphery. And they've kind of approached you, but they haven't really been over the top with it. So they're just kind of waiting to see. They're kind of taking their time, just kind of waiting to see um, what, you know, what your perspective is going to be here with this with this three of wands here, just, just kind of waiting to see what kind kind of things come over the horizon, if you will, um, in terms of uh, of an answer to their, uh, you know, to, to see if 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 the feelings are over, or reciprocal or not. Um, we all now also here we got the devil card here too, okay. Uh, now the, this is interesting because the devil card usually means that this individual has some type of addiction here. Um, what I'm feeling here with this individual is not so much an addiction of, of opioids or an addiction of um, addiction of opioids or or, or, or an addiction of, of, of alcoholism. Kind of more or less getting to maybe um, uh, they're, they're kind of like obsessed with you. They're, they're just like more like more or less like a toxic obsession here. This, this Capricorn energy here. So that's that's really what's going on here with that situation. Um, now again, toxic obsession, um, it is a, it is problematic, I uh, one, one might say, but, but, um, you know, uh, it's just something to do, to be, to be weary of with this individual. It does not necessarily mean that things are going to turn out bad. It's just, you know, this person just more or less kind of over, over the top kind of obsessed with you here. And it's kind of proven itself here by the eight of a wands here. This person is pretty much blowing up all your social media. This person on your Facebook, on your Twitter, on your Instagram, direct messaging you. You know, this person is constantly communicating or trying to, attempting to communicate with you all the time. Um, and it's very obvious. Now, with that being the case, this person is beginning to get a little bit of traction here, or, or they're feeling like they're beginning to get a little bit of traction here. The Wheel of Fortune is definitely beginning to move in that direction because you're kind of beginning to notice this individual, okay? And you're kind of waiting to see how kind of things play out. Now, again, this person's, you know, and this situation is leaning towards a long-term possible committed relationship with the Four of Wands here. So, you know, um, just be a little bit wary. It's a little bit weird. I mean, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to cut the individual off or anything, but, you know, definitely it's, it's good to be aware that this person is, is obsessed with you, okay? So, that being said here, let us see what are the potential blockages to this situation? What are the potential blockages to this situation? What are the potential blockages to this situation? Here? Um, show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards that I need to there you go. Okay. 
All right, so the potential blockages here are, we got the nine of pentacles here. So all the ingredients, nine of pentacles represents a, a situation, a person that's like solidarity, happy with themselves. In other words, having everything you need to garner success. Everything, what this is telling me is not everything is here. All the ingredients are not here at this particular time. Doesn't mean that they won't be. It's just saying that right now at this particular time, the ingredients for this to be is have a successful outcome with this situation just don't exist. They're just not here at this particular moment in time. So it's something that you're kind of going to want to be aware of here. There's more that needs to be added uh, to this situation, really make it a, a, a bountiful, wholesome stew, if you will. So there's some things that are missing at the moment. Also, we have here, we got the uh, Queen of Pentacles here. So... Um, this situation is not very advantageous to being able to kind of um, really, really, really to be financially beneficial to you as far as you wanting to save and be down to earth and grounded and things of that nature, you know, because um, Queen of Pentacles is all about being very down to earth, very nurturing of one's pentacles. Uh, I get the sense here that this person is going to throw everything at you, put the kitchen sink as far as, far so this person is going to be very frivolous with their with their finances in order to kind of garnish your attention here. Um, so they won't be very really down to earth, very grounded with their pentacles. Also here, as far as the Ace of Pentacles go, Ace of Pentacles are all about true, tangible opportunities. And um, to be frankly honest with you, uh, because of the obsession aspect here, um, who I mean I, I mean I I I mean it really may not exactly be a real solid tangible opportunity, um, because it's not based on anything healthy, um, and, and that's a potential problem here. You know uh, the, the the Ace of Pentacles is about a real tangible opportunity, something you can hold. I don't know exactly how 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 uh, tangible this opportunity is going to be for how long before you know you kind of. You know, find out, wow, this guy is really kind of, a guy or girl is really over the top here because the will of fortune is going to start, again, got to go back to the question, what are the potential blockages? The will of fortune is going to kind of start reveal, revealing things, okay? Uh, and it's going to kind of start making you a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, we also got the world card here. It means that things have come full circle with this individual. So this is a number of things here. Usually this kind of means someone from a different uh, geographic area, possibly different ethnicity, something like that. But in this case here, this tells me that this thing is kind of is going to kind of if, if it hasn't already, it's going to kind of run a circle and it's going to run a circle real quick. It's going to be a full revolution real quick here. So we're talking about a beginning, a, mid, a middle and an end very rapidly, very quickly. So if you were to engage in relation with this person, it's going to be pretty it's going to be. You know, grand opening, grand closing type thing. It's, it's going to be pretty fast. Um, also, what's going to begin to happen here is page of pentacles, communication. Okay, you're pretty much going to find that this person, the articulate, they're not going to be very, they're not really going to be able to articulate themselves uh, in a way that's really... Um, uh, that's really going to lead to a fulfilling relationship. What I mean to that is, is you're going to begin to see some of the language that they're using is more like, uh, more or less like they really don't have a, a lot of original, like, uh, okay, how can I put this? So in other words, they're going to say whatever they need to say to please you. Okay. So if, 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 if you love dramas and strawberries, so do they. Okay. Um, there's not going to be a whole lot of, there's not going to be an original thought in their mind if it doesn't come from you. And that's what I mean about the whole, I mean, it may be something that may be appealing in the beginning, but over a period of time, it's going to, it's going to cause a situation where we got a tower moment on the horizon here with this situation. All right. Um, it's going to be like a sudden event here. Okay. That's what I mean about this obsession. It kind of, it's going to start off. It's going to kind of seemingly be like, wow, this is really great, you know? But over a period of time, it's going to start to become a problem, all right? So, four wands is four on. So, with that being said, let us see. What additional information is Spirit going to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information is Spirit going to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information is Spirit going to give before I shut this thing down? 
the cards you need to see. Some the cards that I need to see. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so what this is telling me is here is inner truths. There's going to be a sense of inner truths that you're going to have to uh, accept here. Yeah, yeah, like I said before, this is a situation where um, you're going to learn in, in short order that something, that little, you know, that little voice is going to start kind of like tug, tugging at you like, yeah, there, uh, there's something wrong here. There's something wrong here. Okay. Uh, now, of course, by all... Re Open your heart. You know, you open your heart to a person, to this individual does not necessarily mean that you uh, uh, you have to hurt this individual. Um, and, and also, with, with the other aspect here, of gratitude and appreciation. It's, you know, it, 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 it's good to be grateful, show a sense of gratification, because this person, like I said, is going to shower you with gifts. And you can open your heart to this individual, but with a caveat. Okay, because so all these things are going to happen. It's going to be grateful, appreciate what all that they're doing, all that they're willing to do. But understand, this is coming from a place of obsession. Now, if, if you're okay with that, someone being obsessed with you, catering to your every whim, um, pretty much um, you being Geppetto and them being Pinocchio. And if you're into that type of thing, then fine. But just forewarned, forearmed. Be careful what you wish for because things are going to start to turn south like when you want to start doing things on your own, going your own way, hang out with your friends. This person is going to always going to be there, okay? And that's where the trouble is going to start. So, again, forewarned is forearmed here, all right? So, with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. This is a general love reading that may not resonate with everyone, okay? But if it does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation, I will leave a link down in the description box below. Make sure you get yourself a personal reading. And if you haven't already, please uh, like, please share, and please subscribe. It really helps uh, the channel, but it also really helps the algorithm kind of get my very unique style of readings out there to others that may enjoy this very unique style of tarot reading as well. All right, so thank you in advance. My name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I will absolutely see you next time. Bye-bye.